Hi guys, welcome back to East Sussex College in Hastings. We're here again in our hair and beauty department. Um, we did a live stream a couple of weeks ago, you may have tuned in. Um, we're now here talking to you guys about a really good, exciting course we've got coming up starting September. It is Level 3 Makeup Artistry. Fantastic course, but loads and loads of opportunities out there. Um, and we thought it was a really good time to tell you guys exactly about what we're going to be offering, what we're going to be doing. Uh, we are sat here in our photographic area, um, so this will be something you'll utilise on the course. This is my colleague Selena, and we will both be teaching on the Level 3 Makeup Artistry course. So, first of all, then, Selena, tell us a little bit about the units. What units will we be studying if uh, anybody comes here to do it? Um, okay. Um, so this um, this is level three advanced technical diploma. So there is quite a few units to go through throughout the year. Um, of course, we will have to go through health and safety and work in the industry. Um, that's a basic of every single course. Uh, we will look at um, creating your own um, industry portfolio and lookbook, uh, which will be very helpful for you guys because that way, while you are studying, you can actually prepare yourself. To apply for jobs straight after when you finish your course. Um, because it is um, a media makeup course, so um, there will be big input on fashion um, makeup, photographic makeup, um, media, TV, um, so we will look a lot um, into, into this. Um, however, um, as you can look at my hair and my makeup today, we will look also at all the vintage makeup because this is very important when you work to uh, when you want to work in the TV. Um, there is lots of um, uh, films that actually will require you to create all those um, period looks. Um, so we will look at lots of different things and you will be able to rec re recreate looks like that. Um, Mia will teach you body art. Um, it is very exciting you need. Um, one of my favorites actually. <laughs> um, um, you will look into different techniques, um, different body paints, um, how to create um, a different effects, using different brushes, um, even though it is level 3 course, um, if you don't have your previous qualification, um, we will teach you everything and what, br what brush is used for, um, so don't worry, there is a lot to learn, but we will guide you through it. Um, one of the other good units is camouflage makeup that Mia will be also teaching. Um, camouflage makeup is a makeup when you can support people with um, different um, and yeah, disfigurements, um, scars, scars birthmarks, um, and you will help them to cover them for everyday use. Um, it is something that is widely used um, in NHS. Um, lots of patients will get um, doctor referral and they might come to you um, when you will then create makeup like that. Um, there is few theory units. Um, there is no anatomy and physiology, so we won't have to look at um, uh, very much into this one. However, one very good one is um, the evolution of cosmetics in, in retail. So we will look at all those products that we use and what they have inside, how it affects the skin, how it affects the makeup, and which one is the best to use for um, each model or client. So we will look actually in depth um, into, into this. Um, we will have a little bit of hair to do. Um, there is avant-garde hair and makeup. So we will look at um, high fashion, um, very avant-garde styles um, and how to use everyday objects um, and create something with it. Um, the, your creativity can burst all over this place. Um, and the last you need um, is uh, media makeup blogging. Um, so that will be something that will be um, incorporated throughout the course. Uh, we will learn about blogging, blogging, um, using social media and promote yourself as a makeup artist. Uh, so I think it's a nice range of lots of different things um, in this course that um, you can use and, and, and move forward um, into your own business with it. Um, so looking at this, Mia, could you tell us who is this course good for? Well, as you've just heard there, there's such a massive range of, of units. The employment opportunities are, are endless, really, with this qualification, aren't they? Um, you know, depending on where you want to take your, your career into. So, uh, really, most people can do this course due to uh, sort of current situations and circumstances. You may have had a little bit more time to maybe reflect on what your current career is. You may be looking to, to move into something new, or you may have been forced into that position. So, this kind of course could be brilliant for, for you if you're looking for something to do as a sideline and alongside something else or take it over as a, as a full career. It can be a, a, you know, absolutely a full-time thing if you're working perhaps with a theatre 
bridal makeups, as Selena mentioned there, there is some element of hairdressing in there as well. Um, so you can, you know, really create yourself a good portfolio while you're here to go out and then get employment. We have really good links with the Stable Theatre, which is a local theatre to us here in Hastings. Um, but obviously, you know, you can branch out far wider than that and the, the career opportunities are, are, are huge. So really this course is open to anybody. If you're um, sort of younger and you've done a one year course at college, you could potentially come straight on to level three. You may not need to do level two, depending on what your previous courses were. But just get in touch with us and then we can have a little look, see what your skill sets are and, and see which course would be suitable for you. Um, so, Selena, tell me, while uh, we've obviously got the crowd and products out in front of us here, while we're training on this course, or while the students are, are training, um, do they learn any additional product training and courses and things? Yes, um, we use um, Cryon products, um, it's our main brand. Um, uh, this brand here in UK is based in London, they have one shop and we go there every year. We've got um, training with a specialist um, Cryon um, based makeup artist. Um, they are really good. Um, we can choose which topic we want to study with them. Um, they give, it, give you a lot of advice um, and they, they can also support you in how to move forward with your business because um, they all do it all the time. Um, so Cryon is the main one. Um, we also work, as Mia said, with um, the Stables Theatre. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, due to the pandemic, um, some plays are not happening, but we hope it will pick up again. Um, and we look forward to um, getting involved with them as well. Um, we usually have a rota when we take students there um, and they work backstage, um, they create hair and makeup um, for the actors. Um, it's a um, live theater, the atmosphere is great and it's a great experience for you guys, especially if you would like to move into this type of work. Um, it, it's a good place to start with. Um, we also offer um, retail-based work, work experience. Um, uh, this academic year we worked with um, Superdrug. Um, students have the opportunity to go there and um, gain this um, uh, knowledge of different brands and different products and working with different clients that maybe don't always put makeup on and how to support them with their choice. Um, so there is a few different opportunities to get involved um, in um, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, I think they all want to know what they can actually do and what other courses they can progress for from other jobs. Yeah, so I mean, as you heard from what we've said, there's loads and loads of opportunities with this, not only with the work experience we provide you with, but obviously the skills and the training. Uh, Crayola, for example, as uh, Selena mentioned, they're based up in Covent Garden. They have a brilliant uh, work experience program, don't they, Selena, where you can actually get through international travel if you gained employment with them. Um, but there are other options as well. So you could go into working with a photographer, doing bridal makeups. I know quite a lot of um, colleagues that I've worked with in the past, that's how they how they make their living through, um, you know, working with a photographer, doing bridal makeups, things like that. Um, you could also work in a, a beauty counter, something like in Debenhams, working with a specific brand there. Um, likewise, you could progress on to a level four. So we do have a level four qualification if you want to take your your education to that next level. So there's loads and loads of options out there. Um, you can also work sort of more editorial makeup, um, film makeup, theatre makeup, as Selena mentioned about the stable theatre as well. Yeah, if I could add, um, we actually had the opportunity to work with our film um, uh, film department here, mm -hmm. um, and with you know Netflix now and the amount of films and shows they create all the time, it's actually. Um, very good industry to get into and it's much easier than it was for example 10 years ago um, and this course will prepare you to work um, in a TV um, or in fashion um, in photographic studios. Yeah and things like your lookbook you'll have that physical evidence to take to you you know to take with you to interviews and things like that as well. So I guess you're all wanting to know to how you apply and what the next stage is. Basically get in contact with us. So contact um, straight through to the college. Um, you can email myself or Selena. My email address is mgoddard at sussexcoast.ac.uk or um, czomer, Z-O-M-E-R, at ES... No, yours is... Bond, no. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Sussexcoast.ac.uk. <laughs> yeah, Sussex <laughs> Ring through to our admissions department. It's really, really easy. Our application process is very simple this year. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get you on the course and you can come and study with us to have an exciting year from September. 
Um, also as well, if you're over the age of 19, you can apply for our advanced learner loans, um, which again, our admissions team will be able to give you full details. If you're fortunate enough to be younger, you're 16 to 18, then you have another year of free education, so you could get your education paid for as well. Okay, I think that's everything. Have we covered everything? I think we've covered everything. Yeah. Okay, thanks so much for listening, guys. Bye. Thank you.